1971, Panama City in Panama. Roberto Duran in action here against a very tough fighter from Japan, Hiroshi Kobayashi. Ten rounds this one is scheduled for. Duran, terrific record, 25 fights, 25 wins, 22 inside the limit. And Kobayashi comes into the ring with 61 wins and 9 defeats with 4 draws. So the former WBA and WBC Super Featherweight Champion, Hiroshi Kobayashi, in against Roberto Duran. Duran, of course, from Panama City. Very, very popular. Nicknamed Hands of Steel. Left hook there from Kobayashi. Got a reputation as being a tough guy. So, can Kobayashi then come up a, a weight division here to lightweight and take on a ferocious fighter like Duran? That is the big question. Duran just... But he's a monster. Well, there's a nasty swelling now over the left eye here of Kobayashi. Now, was that a clash of heads or was it a punch? It gives Duran an extra target, of course. So Kobayashi then will have his view here obscured by that swelling of the left eye. And it's quite a bad one. El árbitro es Isaac Herrera. Los jueces son Juan Carlos Tapia y Armodio Cedeño. Well, Kobayashi now trying to get up on his toes here and box behind the left hand. But of course he can't match Duran for range or indeed speed. Duran. Or indeed power. Kobayashi están Shinichi Nakamura y Konga Dorling. Está en las cuerdas. Kobayashi está en la esquina de Kobayashi. El árbitro Isaac Herrera está interviniendo. So Hiroshi Kobayashi then seven years old at 27, but this young, spirited fighter from Panama really looks the part. Duran seven years younger, at just 20. Quiere llevar a Durán a pelear el 17 de noviembre en el Garden con Doug McClendon. Y después tratar de firmar a Ken Buchanan para que Durán, a professional fight at the age of 17. El tercer asalto. Into round four we go. So Roberto Duran then looks like he's won the first three without a doubt. And Hiroshi Kobayashi now having to contend with a big swelling of the left eye. That will obscure his vision. And of course the right hand there for Duran has done some damage. Of that there is no doubt. And they've managed to press away a lot of that swelling. Oh and again a beautiful left hand there for Duran. And then, on the left of the picture, looking an absolute handful here against Kobayashi. Kobayashi is having great experience, great dominion of the ring. Duran, once again, I've got a remark on the, uh, the relaxed attitude here of Duran. Nothing bothers him. He's a very macho kind of fighter, likes to get involved. He knows what this crowd wants and he'll give it to them. Esta es la pelea más importante en la carrera de Durán, ya que el matchmaker del Madison Square Garden de Nueva York... Los... When Durán was just 15 years of age on the streets of Panama, he knocked out a horse, got a compound fracture on one of the fingers on his right hand and was, was a bit of a drunkard as well. 
Y después buscarle la pelea por el título mundial con Hiroshi Kobayashi. Well, Kobayashi there lands a lovely right hook. But once again, still under extreme pressure here from the uh, Panamanian. And at times, you know, Duran looks to be taking this one far too casually, but he's still very effective. And he's got himself in a great state of mind for this. So relaxed, it makes no sense. Of course, he does explode when he has to. So the national hero still goes to work. Kobayashi golpeando al cuerpo para después conectarlo en la cara. So Duran then looking for his 26th straight win. And of course Kobayashi looking to get back on the winning trail having lost last time out. El quinto asalto. It's around six. It's the halfway point of the scheduled ten rounder. Five gone, five to go. Last fight for Kobayashi was a tenth round stoppage defeat at the hands of uh, Alfredo Meccano when he lost his WBA Super Featherweight Championship. Boxeador muy experimentado. And referee Isaac Herrera has not been overly involved in this contest. He's controlled things very well at long range. Both men, of course, know what they're up against, know what they need to do. And the referee really a bit player here. Pero lo que son las cosas, un tipo como Alfredo Marcano, que pega menos que Durán, no quedó a Kobayashi. Pero es el lugar donde se pega el golpe. Well, Kobayashi looking a bit sloppy here in round six. He's got plenty of speed, don't worry about that, but uh, the punch is not really making an impact. Ah, Durán está demostrando... And Durán, such a punishing fighter. He hits very hard and he hits very often. Porque algunos se preguntaban, dice, Durán da, pero le pueden dar... Asimilará golpes. Kobayashi le ha dado buenos golpes. And a much, much better boxer than most people seem to think. Very clever man. And of course, to land good punches, you've got to be in the position to do so. And that's what Duran does exceptionally well. He knows exactly where to be. A Duran está algún pescadito. Y está silbando a Durán como diciendo, ¿por qué no lo noqueas? No es fácil. Frente a Durán. Good thinking fight to Durán. Mundial reciente. Kobayashi still under pressure. Victoria muy meritoria. A bit of a hold there from Kobayashi. Le llama la atención ahora. Oh, referee quite safely says, just don't do that. Beautiful work once again here from Roberto Duran in round six, coming towards the end of the round. And Kobayashi must think he's surrounded. He's getting hit so often. Well, a good right there for Duran. And Kobayashi now looks... Uh, in quite a way. Into round seven then of the scheduled ten and Kobayashi at the end of round six. Looked in a bad way, didn't he? Under pressure, began to wilt but got through the round.
No ha habido caídas todavía. Well, Roberto Duran then with that uh, long loose punching start once again catches Kobayashi. He's gone in the seventh round. Kobayashi face down on the canvas here after an onslaught there from Duran. Will he beat the count? No, he won't. The referee's taking his gum shield out. It's all over for Kobayashi as Duran wins for the 26th time in a row. 26 wins, 25.